Well, we begin with a weather alert storm slamming communities across the state today. This is what it looked like in Hartford a short time ago, a deluge of rain right there. And our storm tracker is out on the roads checking out conditions. Uh, Rachel Piscatelli telling us that she right now is in Groton going into Stonington. And you can see in the lower part of the state as well, wet roads out there. It's raining. Uh, so several places have also seen hail and we have had thunderstorms, at least in Hartford County. We want to turn things over right now to Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank for an update on the forecast. Rachel. Yeah, almost like a few different seasons all in one. I just got a message from Joey in Tolland. He said snowing at his house right now an hour after thunder, lightning and hail, which is, you know, something you typically think of for summertime. And we got tons of photos and reports in from all of you. We want to say thank you and share some of them. This first one is from Roberta. So much small hail across the state today, not even pea size, like smaller than pea size. This is just covering the deck here in Madison. We have another photo to share with you. This is in North Brantford. So a lot from the shoreline that started this morning. Look at this in North Madison, just completely covering the deck there. And this you could almost you can almost stick a rule in that it seems like it's kind of deep in Coventry and Tolland and another one from David Sandler. This is in Middletown and then we've got photos like this. Close your eyes if you don't want to see snow because this is up in Litchfield County East Canaan coming in with a coating to about an inch that quickly ended up piling up and maybe in northeastern Connecticut we could get a similar scenario as we get some cold air just on the back side of this impressive line of showers and thunderstorms that continues to push through. So let's zoom in and give you a closer look at what's going on starting to see some clearing in parts of western southwestern Connecticut but in eastern Connecticut still getting hit with that heavy rain areas of hail. The wind threat was not as high as expected. There was a gust of 53 miles per hour in Groton. I don't think the winds are going to go crazy tonight. I think that our window of opportunity is kind of past. It's so breezy tonight, but we're not talking about um, the winds all of a sudden spiking here moving forward. Putnam up through Woodstock dealing with that rain. Oh, I'm going to back up and just take a closer look again. Notice Tolland and Stafford are showing up in green on radar. That could actually be a little bit of snow mixing in. It depends on if you go up in elevation here. So a really interesting weather day. And some of you will finish with some sunshine, as you can see that trying to work into parts of western Connecticut right now. So whew, storms end, clearing tonight, temperatures in the 30s. But because of that, there's actually a freeze warning in effect. Now, there was a frost advisory last night. What's the difference? Tonight, a little bit colder. So instead of frost, which can actually damage plants, a freeze warning means it could be cold enough to kill some early season plants. And the reason it's in effect for southern Connecticut, not northern Connecticut, is because the growing season hasn't officially started in northern Connecticut. Heading through the day tomorrow, starts off feeling like the 20s finishes off feeling like the 30s. So it is a chilly, breezy day tomorrow. At least we'll have a fair amount of sunshine, partly to mostly sunny skies with high temperatures in the middle to upper 40s. Here's your seven day forecast now. Uh, there could be a passing rain or snow shower on Thursday. Friday looks like a washout, rain off and on through the day. And then Saturday, we get this little window of time where we can go outside and you know that the state parks are going to be crowded. So start thinking now of what your plan B might be because Sunday also looks wet. So it's an unsettled stretch of weather. A lot of people ask me, when is it going to warm up? We might be in this weather pattern where it's cooler and unsettled right through the end of April. So I'm not expecting any, you know, surprise 80 degree days anytime soon. Here's your shoreline seven day forecast highs near 50 degrees with rain on Friday, upper 50s, the pick of the week. And it just so happens to fall on the weekend on Saturday.